All right, so should uh, light skinned women discuss or talk about um, colorism? Of course they should. You know, like they are black people too. Like, um, I'll discuss in another video in regards to, you know, our light skinned people, black, this, that, and the third. But I'll, I'll discuss that in another video. However, but um, as far as colorism goes, you gotta remember there are different tones of melanin, like different tones. Yeah, <laughs> you got my tone. You got even darker. Yeah, and you got even more darker. You got even more lighter. You got even more lighter. Then you got like lighter than light like this, this color here. Then you got lighter than that. Like there's diff different various tones of melanin. Yeah, and you may say, okay, well, because they're from a fairer complexion, this, that, and the third, and they may get favored more over uh, dark skin, which is usually the case, yeah? Which is usually the case. However, they have their experiences too. And they would be thinking, oh, here we go again. Here's a black man, a dark skinned black man, um, pandering to light skinned women. I knew it, blah, blah, blah. No, just, you have to understand something clearly, all right? Before I say anything further, I need you to understand that colorism, yeah, is a tool, just like racism, yeah, to divide people it's an ideology and a psychological um what's the word i want to use it's a psychological sickness yeah that is programmed into people yeah from an early age so they can use so so basically it's used subconsciously to divide people so the oppressors can continue oppressing that's it's plain as simple as it gets because once they have your mind once they have your mind it's a wrap it is a wrap that's why you need to know you have to understand that together with unity we're, we're stronger where was it i think it was um bashy um in the song black boys i believe he said um what's it stick together my young black people um something to do with um when we're lonely with people, when we're together, um, I forgot what it was, but go check out that song anyway. But um, even though it's to do with black boys, but that's it's still relevant. Um, but yeah, back to the situation I had, right? So they're gonna also feel they probably have their own experiences. Do you see what I mean? Like we don't know what someone else experiences until they explain their experience. There's two there's two sides of the queens. There is the side of the queen where they could either discuss them being um, like either a victim of colorism and people think, how can they be victims? Let them discuss their story. Let them let talk about. Let them talk about it. Um, then there's the other side of the queen where you know they've taken advantage of of, of being of fairer skin and they either knew it or maybe they didn't know it and now they know it and now they want to help out their their fellow black women. You understand and do you see what i mean there's, there's levels to this and another thing i want to mention as well is like even regardless of whatever platform it's on let's say it's on a mainstream platform yeah you have to you understand that it's it's just like um what you would call it it's like i'm going to use makeup as as an analogy right and I, if you see my tweet you're probably you know probably gonna I'm rehashing this, yeah, but I'm rewording it. It's like with makeup, yeah. I don't know too much about makeup, I'll be real with you. But it's like you need the foundation, right? Now I'm not saying like give women on the foundation, don't ever get it twisted. What I'm saying is they are the foundation. Yeah, it's, it's like the foundation. They are so because they got the platform, because they're because colorism, like, let's use colorism to our, to our advantage. I know it sounds crazy to me saying that, but let's use it to our advantage. So we can eventually get to the end goal, which is actually solving this problem called colorism, but also having darker skinned women talk about their experiences. Do you understand what I mean? Like, sometimes you have to go through that process. So, boom, go through that. You see what I mean? Like, let them talk. They put on the foundation, yeah, boom. After they put on the foundation, what's next? Yeah, you probably put on, I don't know, lipstick or other type of stuff. I don't know. I don't I don't know all the names and all that stuff there. 
I just know some of you women wear makeup and you whole you have a whole heap of stuff there. But do you see what I mean? Like you put one layer on, then another layer, then a layer. Do you know what I mean? Like it's different parts. So you get to the end goal, you get to the end result, so you look the way that you want to look in terms of makeup. Yeah? And in terms of this whole colorism situation, it's not even less about look, it's about in terms of getting your voice out there properly. The good thing is you've got social media right now. I'm not saying to settle for social media, but at least you're voicing your opinions, you're voicing this, that, and your third. But other than that, yes, light-skinned women can discuss colorism, yeah? And it's up to them to pass the baton and keep. So you can, so it's your turn. You see what I mean? Like, everyone has their turn. Everyone has their turn. Everyone has their turn. Yeah, it's just unfortunate that that um you know in some cases uh a mainstream media production yeah may choose a fair skinned woman or light skinned woman don't go attacking the light skinned woman for taking the job yeah because the next thing you know if they don't take that job and they set, do you see what I mean that someone finds out they don't take the job then you're gonna say oh well. They don't care about black people, but they're not even black anyway. Do you do you see how mad it is? Like, anyway, look. Other than that, because this video is longer than it should be, yeah. Other than that, what I want you to do is to click the link in the description box below, right? Once you do that, you get access to on. Oh, in fact, no. Click on the link where it says make a donation. You can make a donation of any amount. So we're able to rebuild the infrastructure in the African and Caribbean diaspora and just get rid of this problem. Yeah, both colorism and racism. Yeah. Simple as that. Like, yes, it can be eradicated. It just takes certain um structures in place to be able to solve these problems. Yeah. So all you know, it is what it is. All I can say is I've got ideas, I'm trying to put things into place. You want to help, help. If you don't want to help, cool. But anyway, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification because you never know the video you suggest might just be next.